All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in. Friday night, party night, I guess, right? For some of you folks out there. I'm still practicing my lifelong uh, social distancing. It is May 29th, 2020, about 9.15 p.m. West Coast time. And uh, still watching Yellowstone. I was sitting here watching it uh, here for a little bit. I'm sure quite a few folks were. A nice little thunderstorm coming into Yellowstone National Park. But I'm uh, going to go ahead and do the earthquake video update uh, real quick. Not a whole lot to cover still still quite a bit of earthquake shaking in the state of nevada uh quite the uptick that is a 5.4 the most recent quake out here in a cluster of quakes out here in the mid-atlantic range um let's see where they have this at yeah the, the usgs has this at uh almost 2,000 kilometers southwest of portugal portugal yeah, that's pretty, uh, right? That helps out a lot. Anyway, way out there in the mid-Atlantic Ocean there, uh, as I said, in a pretty good cluster of, of quakes. I have to keep an eye on that region. Uh, over here on the West Coast is where it's happening right now. Um, some activity out here along the, uh, well, the Pacific Ring of Fire, down through the, uh, I guess, the Indonesia Islands area, down through uh, New Zealand, but not a whole lot happening there relatively quiet as it seems as though activity is shifting over here towards the uh, west coast once again this here is the usgs map one day all magnitudes we'll go ahead and check out the activity here along the west coast eerily quiet folks out here in southern california um i don't believe this is actually showing everything let me let me go ahead and try this again one day. Okay, this is one day 2.5 and above, my bad. We'll go ahead and go with the uh, all magnitudes here. You guys can see that. I was like, man, there is no activity occurring in Southern California. And I don't think I've ever seen that. So activity in Southern California, just nothing above the 2.5 threshold. Most of the activity occurring well up here in Nevada, right around the area where I was visiting uh, last weekend, right around Mina and Coaldale, Nevada, um, stretching across Highway 95 there through the desert. They did have a pretty significant aftershock earlier today, a 4.2 earthquake striking in the region there. That's going to be this uh, larger blue earthquake, the blue circle. Looks like it may have gotten downgraded to a 4.0, but uh, let's see here. Let's double check that. Get rid of some of those here because because I'm pretty sure it's stuck with a, uh, a 4.2 level. But uh, then again, maybe not. Um, I am not seeing it. Yeah, so it looks, like it looks like it may have gotten downgraded a little bit there. Showed up pretty nicely there on the uh, Mammoth Lake Station. And uh, that earthquake there is striking at about almost nine kilometers below surface there. So quite a bit of increase out there in uh, somewhat larger magnitude earthquakes out there. Nothing major following that 6.5, but nonetheless, the multitude and magnitude seem to be increasing a little bit uh, over the last 24 hours. Looking at 241 earthquakes here within this region of Nevada, kind of stretching, like I said, across Highway 95 into the Candelera Mountains, the Candelera Hills back there were those ghost towns were which, which was pretty cool to check out uh, the Columbus ghost town and there was a couple other I visited um, just to the north of there as well lots of dirt roads to cover out there that's for sure uh, so still still kind of happening out there folks a lot of rock and rolling going on out there in the desert and uh, that's uh, uh, something to keep an eye on that's for sure let's go ahead and zoom up here to the north a little bit back out tad bit on the view uh, still seeing some activity up there in Idaho. Nothing major up there. There's a little bit of increase in activity here in Yellowstone National Park. I see the USGS did manage to update some of the quakes there that occurred earlier during, during the intense earthquake swarm that occurred. Uh, here they have at least 50 earthquakes there striking um, out there in Yellowstone National Park. Trying to get a little bit better view here. These earthquakes striking about, looks like roughly right around five kilometers is the average 
for these uh, the swarm of earthquakes kind of in the northwest corner if you will of the park or west central I should say um, pretty good pretty good swarm I do want to show you guys the uh, actual seismograph stations here from the storm uh, from the uh, area and you guys can see uh, let's go ahead this is not right here let's zoom it back over here I'm gonna blow it up a little bit here so we can see just a tad bit better hold on a second here folks I'm still dealing with a hurt shoulder it just will not calm down so you know looking at the overview here of Yellowstone National Park a lot of the stations there to the east not picking it up because of the uh, the level of sensitivity that the seismologists have set these instruments to are just too high to pick up distant earthquakes even though there's quite a few of them and uh, some of them reaching 2.0 magnitude or so but uh, they're definitely a lot a lot for uh, I'd say for a couple hours or so it was just popping off um, every minute with an earthquake and that was well earlier today since then activity has somewhat calmed down uh, we see this periodically the swarms come and go uh, sometimes they come and they stay for months sometimes they come for a couple hours and then they go and then they come back so just something we'll have to watch uh, Yellowstone is not in the in a, in a phase of blowing up or producing any magma flows or anything like that folks we would see uh, some major earthquakes taking place before that even before that even happened uh, a couple swarms like this is not uh, signature of a uh, impending explosion there at Yellowstone any type of volcanic activity this is purely plate tectonic stress here as I've been saying uh, for quite some time um, since the earthquakes there in uh, in uh, near Reno uh, and then Salt Lake City and then up in Idaho and, and now in Nevada I mean it's all plate tectonics and uh, it's just something to watch there nudging up against the super volcano right all right folks um, we're gonna call it a night I'm gonna jump off here continue watching the earthquake or the uh, uh, lightning show up there at Yellowstone National Park for a little bit hope everyone has a good night please stay safe out there it is Friday night and there's a lot of craziness going on out there in the world uh, a lot of stuff I don't even want to see on the news is pretty bad a lot of a lot of uh, negativity out there anyway stay safe stay positive we'll talk to you guys a little bit later